Hi, this is Steve O'Mooney, and you're listening to another production of the 4i Radio Network at 4iradio.com. Hey there, Eric here from Socially Awkward Studios, and this 4 Eyed Radio presentation is being proudly brought to you by Raven Designs, illustration and design that fit your personality. For samples and inquiries, visit ravencruise.com. Last time on Talking Ranger, er, uh, uh, Ranger Talking Command, uh, oh, screw it, last time on this overdone crossover. <laughs> AP Zach Chris Jordan Tom Go go Ranger Command No no cat No 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 I will stop you pathetic rangers, command podcasters. No more talking for you talking to you podcasters. Saba, attack! Here we go, ready, one. Ah, grab next one, quick. God damn it, are you f***ing serious? Jesus Christ, I f***ing hate you guys. It's part two of the crossover, and so far nobody's died yet. We are not going to kill Chris and Eric, come on. And this time, it's not my fault. Zach, we should talk more later. You're a total Sentai and Kamen Rider nut like me. My nut, bro. Legendary Ranger Mode. Zeo, Gold Ranger. Aya! <sighs> All right, now it's my turn. Hey, uh, hold up, guys. I'm, I'm feeling really dizzy all of a sudden. Chris, you're glowing. Look, he's starting to demorph. What? But how? Wait, hey, where's my gold ranger key? That thing cost me like $30. What's wrong, Chris? (laughs) Feeling a little weak. Oh, what's that? You're missing your precious gold ranger key? Oh, looky here. I guess I have it. Probably shouldn't have shot me in the back the last time we did a crossover. But don't worry. I have the perfect thing in mind for your Gold Ranger key. Ranger Toku Command, Days of Future Podcast. It all started 15 years ago when we were betrayed by two of our own. The world's superpowers quickly fell. We used our powers to fight back, but they know us. They were us. And they destroyed all of our powers. Except for one. And now, with the help of Miss Morgan, mayor of the last city on Earth, we have one last chance to fight back, to take back our world. If you can hear this message, come to the Dome City of Corinth. Damn it, Tom, this isn't RPM. Sorry, sorry. So what exactly are you doing? I'm making an audio diary in case this doesn't work. Oh, it's going to work. How are you so sure of that? Did you read the script? Never mind. How close are you to being done? Well, I connected these wires, so we should be able to put this dino charger in there, and then we'll be good to go. Okay. And then what? I wake up in my past self and I can warn the others? Yep, but you only have until the battery runs out of power. Then you'll be sucked back through time to here. Okay, let's get started. Right. Firing it up now. Well, well, well. Knock down a couple of walls, find a couple of cockroaches. You. Yes, it's good old wonderful me. You're ever so observant, AP. 
AP, it's activated. I'll hold them off, but you have to hurry. But Tom, we don't have any powers. You always safe one. <laughs> hurry! Goody, goody, I was looking to split a peach. Damn it, that's my line. Pitch it! At that moment, I had closed my eyes, and when I opened them again, I was someplace different. I was someone different. Ah, oh, my head hurts. Wait a second. That's not my voice. Do I even want to open my eyes? Ah! Instead of waking up in my past self's body, I woke up in Tom's past body. Hey, uh, Tom? You okay there, buddy? I stopped trying to rationalize anything Tom does about 14 episodes ago. Crap, 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 I gotta play this off right. I can't tell them who I really am yet. Uh, yeah, guys, sorry. Uh, I think I might have blacked out back there for a second. Man, how embarrassing is that? <laughs> can't be more embarrassing than the fact that you seem to have forgotten you were relieving yourself in the bushes and now you're showing off your, uh, let's call it a Tamashi buddy. Oh god, that is disgusting. Ew. I'm going to throw up right now. Oh. Hold yourself together, man. Don't forget where we're here. We're hunting Ranger Command Rangers. That's right. Gotta get that gold Ranger key back for Chris. Wait, hold on. I see one coming now. What a beautiful day to be strolling through this forest all by my lonesome. Hold it right there! Oh, hey Chris, what are you up to? <laughs> I'm about to whoop your super mega ass, that's what! Oh, this is about the gold ranger key, isn't it? How did you know that? Aside from the fact that the last big crossover left that plot open, and the fact that you obsess over it like an ex-girlfriend who left you with a reason that seemed illogical to you, Oh, lucky guess, I suppose. I, I, she just stopped texting me back, and I, I don't get it. She, she said she was happy. Zack, see you've been ambushed by some talking toku losers. Hi, Eric. Oh God, it's another crossover, isn't it? Ugh. Ugh. What just happened? You're the only reason our show is still alive. That's because it's being run by a loser like Chris. That's it, Eric. I've had it. Ranger up and fight me. Don't have to ask me twice. Tell me if you've seen this one before. It's Morphin Time! Ha! Legendary Ranger Mode, Zeo, Gold Ranger! It's time for a Gold Rush! Rush this! It's Morphin Time! Ha! Legendary Ranger Mode, JDF! Ugh, ah, you look just like him! Try and stop this! Train Me JDF Advertising Campaign! Yeah! Ah! You fight... dirty! My Morphin Life, Season 3, Fire! This is it. This is where everything changes. Zach! Jordan! You know I'm getting pretty tired of these two always hogging the spotlight. Seriously, these crossovers are always about them. We can change that, you know. Guess this calls for drastic measures. <laughs> what the hell, Tom? <laughs> Whoa! Tom finally put the moves on Jordan. This is way more important than a fight. Listen to me, I'm actually AP. That joke is dead, Tom. Uh, I need some mouthwash. No, listen to me. I'm AP from the future. 
Remember when Tom had that weird moment back in the bushes? That doesn't narrow it down. Tom built advice in the future that let me come back to the past to stop you two from destroying Eric and Chris. If you do, darkness takes over you and you end up destroying the world. That sounds badass. Oh no, don't tell me. Honey, I'm home. I always knew there was a woman inside Tom just dying to get out. Ugh... <sighs> Whoa, future me has a bitchin' beard! Right? Me too! Future me looks pretty badass. What the heck is going on right now? Apparently, AP is inside of Tom. Uh, excuse me? Uh, sorry, future you is inside Tom. Yeah, still not following. The spirit of future you is inside Tom. Future me would never agree to that. She didn't. Trust me. Oh, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, hold on, so... In the future, Zack and Jordan grow bitchin' beards and destroy the world? <laughs> that sounds pretty logical, actually. Yeah, I can see it. No argument here. Nope. I've already stopped the major event from happening, but if they are in the past now, that means that my time is just about up. You have to stop them, both groups of you. I'm still skeptical. Tom has always joked that he's really me. It's to the point that I'm starting to believe it. I can fix that. Listen up, AP. That's how Chicago Fire ends? No freaking way! Can we get on with this already? Seriously. Your powers won't be enough to stop these evil versions of Zack and Jordan. I can already feel my spirit being pulled away back to the future, so I leave you with a gift from myself, Future Tom and Mayor Morgan. Whoa! Real Dino Chargers! Whoa! Real Zudenchis? Same thing. Tell that to Bandai of America. Goodbye, my friends. It was really good to see you again. It's been a long time. Safe travels, future AP. We won't let you down. I liked her. She was pretty awesome. Uh, hello. The past version of her is standing right in front of you? Not the same. Um, technically yes. It is. Eh, I'm just not feeling it. You're different. Ugh. Uh, does someone want to tell me what the heck is going on right now? Long story short, AP was inside of you and gave us all special powers. Did she at least buy me dinner? That's your first question to the explanation? Not how, why, when, but if my future self bought you dinner first? I don't know. It all makes sense to me. How does any of that make sense to you? Okay, guys. Future AP has given us a chance to change history and save the future. We can't let her down. I'm not going to let future me destroy the Earth. I refuse to let a future happen where I get stuck in Tom's body. I echo that sentiment. Wait, what? Giggity! Let's do it, guys. Dino Chargers, ready! Ready! It's morphin' time! Energize! Unleash the power! Dino Charge, Ranger Red, ready! Dino Charge, Lightspeed Rescue, Ranger Yellow, ready! Dino Charge, Ranger Black, ready! Power Rangers, Dino Charge! Our turn, but with a Takin Toku spin. Ready, guys? Brave in! Brave in! Cure you change! Fire! The Thundering Hero, Kyoru Gold. The Brave Hero, Kyoru Silver. The Seafaring Hero, Kyoru Violet. Human Sentai, Kyoru Yuji. Aw, you're all so cute. Dragon Zord. Compliments of Bat in the Sun. You really are evil. I brought something just for you, Chris. <laughs> Henshin. Lock on. Going full bitchy Mitchy mode, huh? <laughs> That's more fitting than you think. It reminds me of how much you cry about stupid crap all the time. I can't tell you and your past self apart. 
dick. Enough banter. Let's save the future, guys. Will our heroes stop the evil villains from the future? Will Chris get back his gold ranger key? How many people know what it feels like to be inside Tom? Find out at the end of the show! Now, enjoy this episode of Ranger Command Power Hour. Welcome to the Ranger Command Power Hour on the Four-Eyed Radio Network. It's time to ranger up with your hosts. I'm Eric, also known as TrekkieB47. I'm AP, also known as Secret Ranger Fan. I'm Zach, also known as the Cinema Slob. I'm Chris, also known as Kickback. I'm Jordan, also known as Den O. And I'm Tom, also known as AP. This episode is brought to you by Revenge Lover, illustration and designs that fit your personality. For samples and inquiries, visit revengelover.com. Hey, guys. Hey. Yo. Oh, dear. Hi. Shalom. <laughs> this is, this is, we're in so much trouble already. <laughs> well, Aloha. Hey, hey, how, how are you? <laughs> hey, how, oh, oh Mahalo. God. No, it's hey, how are you? Thomas. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? So, so let's just get into the news. <laughs> Great segue. <laughs> yeah, there, there are no good segues here. So, the Power Morphicon 2016 dates and first guests were accidentally released because of Reiko Chiba, who is the Terror Ranger on Zoo Ranger. She told the world that the next Pyromorphicon is August 12th through 14th, 2016, and that she would be attending via Twitter. Known Pyromorphicon staff member and guest relations guru, Realm, at B-Boy Realm on Twitter, confirmed it with a statement about how you know it's going to be an awesome convention when the guests are announcing themselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I first... <laughs> And I first saw Reiko's tweet, it was like it had the picture of the logo. And I'm like, wait, did she just really do that? <laughs> and how, was, how pissed are they, you think? I wonder. I wonder if they really are or not. I haven't seen Scott post anything about it, so yeah, she was excited. You know, what are you gonna do? Well, she also announced that she was going to Lexington twenty sixteen as well. She put those dates up as well. <laughs> You know, when people get excited, they tend to pop a little early. It's okay, yeah. Tom. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but this isn't like your mess where we give you a towel and it's okay. <laughs> I'm literally shaking my head right now. <laughs> I hope you are. This is awful. Jesus, no, give me strength. <laughs> we, can have a can- we can have a counter in this episode. If they get the correct the amount of times I say, Oh God! Then they win a prize. <laughs> is, that, is that like is that the cr- Krillin owned count in uh, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z? Or we count the ones before the actual episode started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yay, we're going to be there. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It's going to be fun. I'm uh, going. I don't know if these two are going. They say I'm they're gonna going. Try, I'm going to do my best to go. It depends, it's gonna be, baby. It's going to be in the event. Yeah, bring the baby along. Did you say it depends maybe or it depends baby? <laughs> it depends. It depends. It depends. I just, baby. Ma- yeah, it depends on baby. <laughs> it's a depends baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> maybe baby? Baby maybe. You might have another one between now and then. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know about that. Make it, make it, a, make it a cosplay baby. There you yes. go. The most popular baby at conventions. Have uh, have Rico son sign her. <laughs> wow, yeah, that sounds very very constructive. <laughs> Just but put her right. in a little uh, pterodactyl costume and show her to Rico. Oh, that would be you'll, awesome. And you'll be on her social media for like the next five years. Yeah, I'm already on there. Retweets up the wazoo. <laughs> there you go. Like, put the talk and Toku logo on there. Whichever. There you go. Get us some exposure. Sure. <laughs> Get, like, three more listeners to bring our total to seven. (laughs) (sighs) In other news, just announced today, the Power Rangers Super Mega Force DVD Volume 5 was announced for an August 11th release, and this will include the extended Legendary Battle episode, plus a special feature for the first time probably ever on a Lionsgate DVD, Power Rangers A Legacy. Which will feature behind-the-scenes looks at... 
of that, and then interviews with past cast or whatever. So pretty much 30 seconds talking to Selwyn Ward, three minutes talking to JDF. Three minutes? You're way underestimating that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a Lionsgate special feature. I figure it was only four minutes long to begin with. <laughs> for, for more footage of JDF talking, please visit our website. <laughs> <laughs> Morph, my Morph in Life Season 3. It's for probably full, just a clip from his web series. For the full uncut 40-hour footage. <laughs> <laughs> now that would be a special feature. <laughs> it's literally just my morphin' life, like the end of season one where you know, Mega Force background stuff. It's literally just that. God. I wonder if it's some generic, just a history of Power Rangers thing, and they borrowed some stuff from Shout Factory special features. It's just Legacy of Power again. <laughs> <laughs> with more uh, GDF. <laughs> yeah, with more GDF. Because now he has to cover all the teams past Dino Thunder. Oh, God. <laughs> And then in the future, there's some space cops or whatever, but who cares, because it's not me. <laughs> you should use that voice way more often. Yes. Agreed. There's some space cops out there. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, back on Earth. <laughs> this is like a voice. I don't know how it's... <laughs> no way! No way! God damn it. All right. So what are we talking about today? We are talking about Dino Charge versus Kiruger, the first eight episodes. <laughs> so we're kind of doing a comparison since you guys talk Toku and we talk Power Rangers. We have nothing better to talk about during a hiatus. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah that, that is actually really sad. Yeah. <laughs> no. I, don't know, I, keep, I keep refreshing overtime for subs, so nothing yet, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. It is Monday. Did you guys see that tweet that C- Sienna? Sienna? Sienna Hair? Um, C- Sierra? Sierra, Sierra Hanna? You had a crush yeah, C- on this chick and you don't remember her name? <laughs> <laughs> Mine's blinking. Okay, so <clears throat> she she tweeted out, you know, congratulations, you guys finished your filming and all that stuff. Like, does she not know that they're having a, a second year? Or... They're done filming, Tom. They filmed everything already. Yeah, they filmed the Including supercharged. supers? And really? Including, yes. Wow. God, you're and, one of those and, people. And why are we having the hiatus? Filthy casual. <laughs> 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 We're having the hiatus because of Nickelodeon, plus they have to do all that extra production work. To finish the Nickelodeon will only order 20 episodes a season. So therefore, Saban Rands, and they signed the contract, said, sure, we'll do 20 episode seasons, and that's what we'll do. However... We'll keep filming because we don't want them to live here on our dime. Pretty much. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah, they, I mean, they basically filmed for, like, what was it, eight months? They flew out right after Power Morphicon, and they just came back yeah, a couple so days, like, like yesterday. So about nine months with a Christmas break. Yeah. Well, they still got another year of ADR to do, probably. And probably reshots mm-hmm. in L.A., so... I don't know about the ADR, because it was... James no. posted a picture of him and Yoshi in the ADR studio saying some last final ADR by New Zealand. No, Whoa. they'll bring it back, because yeah. we know the Super Mega Force cast is doing ADR yeah, like the exactly. week before the extended <laughs> Mega Force battle. So. Yeah. I think that was just, like, changes to stuff in the final battle. Maybe maybe, maybe they are running a tighter ship this time. That's uh, true. I mean, Judd yeah. Land is in, in charge yeah. now. Yeah. It could be. Tired. That's a good point. And now he's got like a year and a half to take a vacation before he's got. To <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Or a year and a half to come up with a really kick-ass Tokyujer adaptation. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You could just see him sitting at his table banging his head against the table. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I damn trains? trains. What am I going to do? Or, or Ninja, whatever. <laughs> Every time I see the helmet, I got the Thomas theme song going. No, no. <laughs> You know, How am if I going to do this? If he did what uh, Eddie G did to RPM, use it with the Galandra footage, making a post-apocalyptic world, that could work. Mm. Make a post-apocalyptic world. Using with rainbow trains. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait, so this becomes the Snowpiercer of Power Rangers? <laughs> <laughs> this, this becomes like an RPM follow-up. They're now <laughs> Tokusers. They now do trains. So instead of calling it something like uplifting, like rail force or rail rescue, we'll just call it like train apocalypse. Or... <laughs> <laughs> Power Rangers train apocalypse. Performed by Blink One Eighty Two. We're here to save the future. <laughs> Power Rangers. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> Judd, if you're listening to this, hire Chris to sing your theme song next. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's done three uh, theme songs for us already, so... so two, 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 two and I like a half. <laughs> <laughs> I never finished the last one. That's an impressive resume, Chris. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm proud. Okay. <laughs> Hate all you want. I'll all be right. performing live at Power Morphicon 2016. Ooh. Oh, boy. I can't wait. <laughs> After, After shots. Yet. After Not shots. Not coming now. After, alcohol. <laughs> After a lot of shots. Doesn't take that many. You watched the live stream last year. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm still feeling the effects of that. No, I'm. I'm <laughs> Tell your girlfriend I'm sorry. <laughs> So, <laughs> Dino Charge versus Kiruger. Now we've pretty much all seen Kiruger. AP mostly did that today, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you got up to episode, what, six? Yeah. Since it's, yeah, since it's so fresh in your mind, what's your general impression of Kiruger? I don't love it, but I also don't hate it. And I also don't dislike it, but I also don't like it. Would you say it's... I'm like ass? really okay, so I'm just really ambivalent about it. Fairly neutral. The characters are okay. I just find it a little bit boring at times, and I just really don't like Ian or Ramirez. <laughs> not a fan of either of them. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat my <laughs> um, <laughs> my initial thoughts because I'm assuming that's going to be in bloopers at some point. So yeah. <laughs> but you're not a fan of Ramirez. Is it just Wait, because of the weird English? Or? Hold, on, hold on, hold on. So, AP, you didn't get to episode 8, right? No. So you didn't see him going up to Amy and calling her young, sweet, powerful lady over and over? Well, I... Pa- like, fawning her from a distance while she's fighting? You didn't get to see any of that? Because I'm serious, that happens in that episode. Oh, that, I, is, that does happen. I did see the part in, I think, episode 6 where he was basically, like, hitting on her. As he was dying. Oh yeah, that's right. You gotta give a man credit for persistence. It was <laughs> really weird. What I was gonna say was AP is that when we first watched Kiruja, we didn't all love it right away, and it really grows on you over time. And the story got better and better. So by episode six, yeah, I kind of see what you mean. You don't love it, but you're tolerating it, right? I wouldn't even say that. I mean, I just don't have a like She's... distinct opinion about it yet. Yeah, mm. jokes aside, yeah. you're saying you're basically indifferent to it. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It grows so, on you, though. Uh, that's what I'm assuming. I, mean, I will say the early episodes were a bit slow in terms of me yeah. getting into they were, it. They were very rough, because when mm-hmm. I first started watching it, I didn't like it to the point where I skipped the first 30 episodes. Um, <laughs> you didn't have a lot of shows, so... Yeah, <laughs> I didn't drive, that with well. I skipped, like, the middle of the Ninja, like, the beginning middle. But, no, so after getting back into it in the 30s when it got really, really good, it makes rewatching it a lot more enjoyable, and it's now one of my favorite series. The music's incredible. I really, really, really yeah. appreciate the music, and that's all I've been using in our drama thing <laughs> is, is Kyoruger music, so. That's probably our first comparison with Dino Charge and Kyoruger. I think we can all agree that so far in the, its first eight, Dino Charge has had a really strong start. Versus Kyoruger. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I love about Dino Charge is that the first eight episodes, or oh, more than eight episodes for Kyoruger, it was pretty much dubbed the Daigo show. Like, it was all about him. Mm-hmm. Whereas Dino Charge is about the team. Like, you really feel like everybody got included, and, and that Tyler was not this traditional leader. He actually came into it you know, later on, became a ranger a lot later than, than the other guys. Right. And he didn't try to step in and, and make it his own. Like, he really is a team player. And I really yeah. enjoy that. Well, <laughs> in Kyoruger, Daigo really literally comes out and says, Hi, you can call me king. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the and, ego is definitely there. Yeah. For the Sentai footage, I like how they took King or Daigo's enthusiasm and turned that into Tyler's just overabunding enthusiasm. Yeah, that's one thing that I was going to mention, too. Our first question going into this, so who had the better team-comes-together storyline? Okay, Dino Charge, it was... Explain yourself! (laughs) (laughs) Objection! (laughs) Overruled! Compared to Kyoruger, it wasn't so drawn out like that was. 
-hmm. but it didn't skip over anything that we needed to know either. Like, it gave us what we needed to know. It had very good introductions for each character. I just felt like it flowed very well, and I thought it was more exciting, too. Chris, how about you? Which which one had a better team comes together storyline? Oh, it's... Uh... It's kind of hard to say for me because I like... In Kyoruja, obviously, Daigo's the last member of the team. Mm -hmm. And so half the storyline is about him discovering who the other team members are and getting them to kind of become a team by revealing themselves to him for whatever reason while exploring, you know, a background to their story. So I really like that. At the same time, I also like Dino Charge where we saw basically Riley, Shelby, and Tyler all become team members, get their powers, and then we got backstory from both uh, Chase and Coda. Mm -hmm. So both have their pros and cons for sure. Mm -hmm. For me, I'm going to say a tie, honestly. I do like what they did. I like that they didn't follow exactly what Kiruja did. Right. I like that they kind of went their own way, but at the same time, I, I like them both pretty much the same, and I think it's going to be more of how the payoff is on that type of storytelling on Dino Charge versus Kill Ruger later on in the season, because with Kill Ruger, as for those of us who've watched the entire thing know, there's a lot of payoff to some of those early interactions between the characters towards the end of the season. Yes. I really like the way Dino Charge brought the team together, because when Kyuja did their thing, they were already rangers, they had their power, you know, they show up whenever there's something going on, and then they leave afterwards. So you don't get that cohesiveness from the beginning. You, you sort of like, everybody got their own lives to attend to, and they don't really care about anything else except when monsters show up, oh, you know, I got this job to go to mm -hmm. press. Dino Charge really embraced that whole team thing from the beginning. So I, I think Dino Charge wins out in that respect. And you also got to see how they become rangers, too, so. Yeah, that's always a plus. No, Mo, that's my opinion. I'm sticking with it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, God. I'll fight her. I'll fight her. <laughs> She's flipping out a little bit right now. It's okay. She's a baby. She's allowed to. It's okay. Go ahead and feed her, Jordan. Maybe she just doesn't like Kiruja at all. Exactly. She's got very strong Toku opinions at an early age. Yes, yes. <laughs> See about that. <laughs> so Jordan, what did you think? Well, I guess as far as the team coming together, at least... Well, I don't know. It's hard for me to say. I, I really prefer the way that uh, Kyoryuja didn't drag it out, putting them all together, it seems. I felt like Dino Charge took it a little too far out, where it's like, here, let me give you a few episodes, and then we'll tell you how this guy got his powers. And uh, I didn't really care for that, but, you know, it's like six of one, half a dozen of another to me. I feel like they're pretty much the same, as far as that goes. Okay. Zach? See, I'm probably one of the only people... I really like the way that Kyoryuja did it, because... It was something different. It wasn't the same, hey, everybody gets their powers at the same time to become a team, and they've been friends, or they've been a team for a while. This is like, you or know... they're all related. Yeah, exactly. Or they're all related. This is like, it took its time to have each member of the team have an episode to develop a, a little bit of backstory, a little bit of character, and then realize that, hey, you know what? We do work better as a team rather than just faceless, nameless individuals. For the first few episodes, they were calling each other by their, their ranger colors for a while. It was fun. I liked having the no-nonsense, we're just here to do a job aspect, and then having that hard shell break. It was something unique, I think, and I really enjoyed the way Curious did it. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you and Chris. Like, I really thought that was unique, how they handled that, that they didn't even know each other's names. They didn't know their identities. So when they did find that stuff out, it was a surprise to all of them. And I liked how that played out in Kiruja. I just thought Kiruja drug it out a little bit too much. Because it was like, what, three or four episodes before they knew who everyone was. I thought that was a little bit too stretched out, but I did like the uniqueness of it. With Diner Charge, I think... They did a good job balancing the team introduction and coming together as a team, but I think they went a little bit too fast with that in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Moving on, the next topic, since it seems to be a really big focus point in Kiruja, Daigo and Amy versus Tyler and Shelby and the relationship in these early episodes. I like Tyler and Shelby better. Mm -hmm. I felt like there was more of a more realistic slow build to it. Right. Like they were getting to know each other and then he discovered like how smart she was and 
everything, and then that made him, like, fall in love with her. Whereas on Kiryujer, I felt like it just sort of happened too fast. I didn't see too much of a build to it, so mm-hmm. that's why I'm going with Tyler and Shelby. I'm going to go with Tyler and Shelby, and the reason I have is because with Daigo and Amy, there really is no relationship till the final story arc, and then you're like, huh? <laughs> You, you guys are a couple now? Like, what? Um, yeah, well, it, yeah, it wasn't until, uh, what's her name pointed out? She was like, oh, well, yeah, maybe... It, it, wasn't, like it wasn't until UI or Yayo or... <laughs> yeah. Like, you, you, you. yeah, Yoy. <laughs> it wasn't until she appeared in the 20s and started, like, having a crush on Daigo that it became, oh, there's something going on. But there was still never any build-up other than a strawberry parfait. Whereas with Dino Charge, it's nice to see that, you know, for whatever reason, Tyler's got a diary or something, and he likes to write <laughs> it, and has no problem doing an expose, an exposition on his thoughts to the camera. So to know that there's something going on, they're building it early, hopefully there's a payoff to it, and it's not like every other romance in Power Rangers history, except for Jen and Wes, where it builds up and then nothing ever comes up, because censors. Mm-hmm. The, the infamous almost kiss. The kiss of my life. <laughs> Nickelodeon's like, no brown chicken, no brown cow. <laughs> Tom, what are your thoughts? <laughs> I like that they hinted it early that it's going to be a thing because, like Chris said, Kyuja was such a last minute. It almost seemed like an afterthought that they're like, oh, yeah, remember these two? Uh, we should put them together. It's nice that they hinted it early and knowing what I know about the footages to come from Kyuja, it's like, oh, that's nice. Well, it's going to make sense in Dynamite. Right, exactly. Okay. Jordan? Gosh, I don't know. I guess there is more of a slow build from Dino Charge, but I I guess it's more non-existent in the first few episodes of Cure Uger, so it's kind of your, your answer by default is Dino Charge with Tyler and Shelby has a better build. I think it's sort of an unfair comparison because theirs doesn't come until later anyway. <laughs> All right, Zach. Um, <laughs> yeah, I really liked Daigo Amy, but again, their relationship did come so late in the game that like these early episodes, it's it's apples oranges. But for now, I like that they're setting Tyler Shelby up, and I hope that it gets a good payoff like what Daigo Amy had. Strawberry parfait at the end. Maybe yeah. <laughs> Tyler and Shelby, that's pretty obvious, but I'm glad that Chip Lynn is taking that footage into account because obviously he's probably seen the whole season. Well, he's definitely seen the whole season by now. <laughs> and when he wrote it... I should it, really so. watch that now that we're done. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. But I'm glad that he took that into account and is actually building it, unlike Kyoruger. Which one do you guys like better, Chaos or Sledge? Design-wise, probably Sledge. Really? Yeah, it actually is kind of a cool costume. Chaos looks like the Statue of Liberty got butt fucked by a demon. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just being honest with my feelings here. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go for it. Uh. Um, So, yeah, I think Sledge looks better, at least, aesthetically. But as far as the character goes, I kind of feel like Chaos is more threatening. More threatening, but I I think Sledge has the more interesting personality. We get more backstory for why Sledge is doing this. He wants to be rich and marry Poisandra and whatever. With Chaos, it was just like, I'm doing this to revive our master. Okay, but that's that's it. He was sort of a blank slate. Like, anybody could have been intimidating Mm -hmm. in that. I think I like Sledge more for his quirks and his personality. Oh, I have to ask you guys that have watched all of Kiruja, does Chaos actually ever get out of that wherever they're at, and does he actually interact with any of the Rangers? Yep. Yeah. So do you think we're going to see that character be repurposed in Dino Charge? That's well, like point? a Monster of the Week kind of thing? Yeah. Or I don't think general. Monster of the Week because he never actually fights him like a Monster of the Week, so I don't think... I would see him as more of a general. Okay. Yeah, we might get him in, in a new general uh, way. Because towards the end, there's a lot of footage with him, with the Kyo Rugers in suit and stuff, with like some really nice footage that I would assume they'd want to use. I'd be okay with them using because it's good footage. I wonder if we'll get that during Supercharge. Oh, maybe he's the new main villain or something. Yeah, like, like something happens... Sludge. Like, something happens at the end of Dino Charge where it's like, oh, they destroyed Sledge, but here's this new guy, and then... Or maybe that new guy's underneath Sledge's armor. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of hoping that they continue the trend and then just use as little synthetic footage as possible 
and you just film new stuff. I don't know. I'm busy canceling my flight out to New York City to see the Statue of Liberty, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> my work here is done. <laughs> Lady Liberty is done. done. <laughs> No, I, I would say I prefer Sledge over Chaos right now, just because Sledge seems to be a much more interesting villain. He's got, like Zach said, he's got the backstory. You know why he's doing it. I mean, they've given us stories to where all these monsters are coming from, what they're looking for, why they're looking for it. I like that. You know, and I it gets tiring of every Super Sentai. It's kind of like, I'm the main bad guy. Until right. episode 20, then this guy's the new main bad guy. Until episode mm. 40, when the real main bad guy, you know... So sick of that. So, and I also like the the fact that he's a fellow collector. So. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> he's a geologist. That's a nerd, not a collector. <laughs> just, just yeah. remember, Keeper committed genocide. <laughs> <laughs> Exterminated a whole species. Come on, can't get away from that. Yeah, I can't exterminate a whole species with my Power Rangers collection. So, <laughs> dun dun dun, dark. There's the future past too. <laughs> That's the next crossover. Eric comes from the future with an army of, of Power Ranger toys and just starts destroying the Earth just by throwing them at children. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, AP, what do you think? Chaos versus Sledge? I like Sledge better just because of his design and his personality, like everyone else has been saying. But I still feel like Chaos, he's got his merits, and I feel like he should be used. Mm-hmm. somewhere maybe later down the line. It's a cool-looking design, despite yeah, it, what Jordan thinks. <laughs> and it would explain all those faces on all the monsters. So maybe all the monsters originally belonged to him, and Sledge stole them all. So Chaos is the ultimate collector over Sledge. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> okay, that would be hilarious if they play some humorous collector thing. Totally making fun of all of us. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. I would totally love that. <laughs> I collect from Japan. I mean, a different part of space. <laughs> space Japan. I, I prefer Bandai of space toys. You know that if this were a straight Talking Toku episode, we'd be asking Jordan to uh, Photoshop K as a Lady Liberty. <laughs> 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 do it anyways. Yeah, yeah do it anyway. anyway. <laughs> yep. Okay. I'll include it on your show page. Pedophile Tom in the in the van. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The moving side on. Of the van. It says free Power Ranger toys. <laughs> <laughs> and Zach and Eric are in line. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Candelira voices po- versus voice <laughs> voices <laughs> voices Vo- voices <laughs> voices from, from New York voice voices 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 <laughs> I hear voices all the time <laughs> oh god I'll go first I definitely like Poissandra more I thought Candelira mm. was a bit too annoying. Poissandra is just a little bit more fun, and I liked how they tied her to Sledge. I like all, everything that's going on with that. I like their relationship. I like her rivalry with Fury. So I really like where her character is going. I prefer Candelira over Poisandra, and my reason for that is Candelira in Kyuruger, obviously, all the monsters and the faces are based off of human emotion, and that's mm-hmm. what they're trying to collect for their power, blah, 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 blah. So she's the human emotion of joy, so that would explain why she's pink and bubbly and basically, you know, balloon boobs and balloon butt. <laughs> and. And you thought I was critiquing, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, she's just a walking balloon factory. But I thought that it played better for her than Poisandra, who, so far, with no real backstory to who she is, comes across as just your typical female villain trope. I would echo that uh, Candelira is the better of the two for sure, uh, mostly just because I really, really like her voice actress from the various anime that she's been in, but also that she played her human form on the show, and she brought some real life and pizzazz into that character that I don't feel any sort of from Poissandra. I gotta agree with you guys. I really like Candelira more. Her story arc had a great resolution that I won't spoil, just in case AP ends up watching the rest of Kyoryuger. Which... <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> Well, I won't 
spoil it for the listeners, let's put it that way, in case they decide to go watch Kira Yujiro. But uh, she had a really great character arc, and yeah, just, I, I find Poissandra to be just kind of blah. Hmm. All right. I'd have to agree with Eric. I think uh, Candelator is like super annoying, and her purpose isn't very clear at the beginning. But with Poissandra, you see like her purpose being there, and she's got more of a well-rounded personality because mm-hmm. she plays off the other characters a little bit better too. I'd have to say Poissandra. Yeah, and I'm kind of going into this like AP. I've only seen just the early third of Kiruger, so. Yeah, it's probably one reason why me and Zach especially probably like Candeliers, because we obviously, Candelier has a, a very large story in Kill Rooter, mm-hmm. um, especially towards the end of it, which kind of goes back and kind of redeems her character at the beginning, I guess, is a way to put it, the annoyingness anyways. Oh, okay. So, right. so I don't, don't want to spoil it, but that would play into it. If I were just watching just the first eight episodes and I had no idea what happens afterwards, I would probably say I hate them both equally. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. Oh, and then Tom again. He's gone. <laughs> he'll he'll pop in again. All right. Just say pedophile really quick. Nope. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Damn, I thought that would work. Hey, uh, speaking of pedophiles, on to the next topic. Yes, Jordan versus Keeper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if, if all if every single one of you doesn't have the same answer for this question, I'm leaving right now. Torin. Torin. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it's definitely Torin. Torin yeah, it's Torin 100% of the way. If you want that creepy, weird, staring lizard <laughs> monster <laughs> thing, yeah, then go for it. But I'll take the crazy demonic chicken monster every day of the week. Yeah, and I have to agree there. Torin is pretty badass. I really like his costume. I don't know if it would necessarily work for Power Rangers, I almost wish they did kind of like a SPD thing with Torin and made more of like a badass, even more badass than Torin, like animatronic hawk dude. Yeah. That would be cool. Like a dinosaur I'm, bird? Yeah, like a dinosaur bird. <laughs> That's alien. exactly what the Keeper is. He's a dinosaur bird. Yeah. Oh, but he's in face. Here, here's my thing. I'm, I'm picking Torin. But with an asterisk. <laughs> okay. And the asterisk is, because Eric, you and I have talked about this before. Yeah, that's true. Because I don't know what the fuck is going on with the Keeper. <laughs> All I know is he is, like, one of the biggest mentor douchebags that the Power Rangers have ever had. Because who else, like, goes up and challenges the villain? Like, yo, we're going to kick your ass. Deuces. And, like, leaves his <laughs> team behind. Yeah. And that, I got respect for that. I like asshole mentors. So <laughs> I'm curious where it happens with the Keeper because I have no idea at this point why even have the Keeper in the show in the first place. I mean, the guy is responsible for the freaking end of the dinosaurs in the Ice Age. He almost gets his human friends killed because he's like, yeah, we can kick your ass later. <laughs> bye. <laughs> he says, yeah, bye. And he leaves. And then he just kind of appears and, and trolls people like, you know, hey, Riley. <laughs> Why are you being such a dick? You should, you know, not be such a dick. You should go, you know, apologize, hug it out. Ha ha ha, you know. So you like him for being an irresponsible asshole? (laughs) Pretty much, yeah. I want to see how it plays out. I'm curious, as opposed to the giant bird that just snaps his fingers all the time. To be fair, that sounds exactly like Chris. <laughs> okay, so we know in Kiruger, and I mean, it's it's a spoiler, but he becomes the 10th Kiruger, Kiru Silver. Do you think Keeper is going to somehow no, morph into Tor? No, I will quit. I will we already know he's not. I will we quit Power Rangers. Not. Well, here, here's Do the we trick, know he's not? Here's the yeah. trick. Okay, 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 okay. So, All right. okay. back in the day, once upon a time. Shush it. Once upon a time, what was it? The Power Rangers Hotel had the bio up order for Tyler and, like, you know, his dad, a former Power Ranger. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. But in all fairness, I'm sorry for the spoiler coming up, uh, AP. Daigo's dad also becomes the Silver Ranger after Torin. So is it possible that the Keeper plays a role like Torin and becomes is a Silver Ranger? Is he Tyler's dad? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm your dad. <laughs> I am your father. (laughs) That's not true. That's impossible. (laughs) No. Join me. me. (laughs) I'm totally playing the Star Wars music. (laughs) 
So what we need to do now is is go back and get that actual like art script line by line, and then try to find voices of Tyler, and Brennan, and Mejia, like <laughs> saying those words, and like, I'll just no, impossible. <laughs> no way. No, it's impossible. No, it's impossible. <laughs> And then, Chris, we'll just have you just do the keeper voice. So basically, it's like our light speed rescue episode all over. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, did you guys get these messages from Tom? No. 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 Okay, uh, don't don't call on him. He had to go pick up his wife. He'll be listening but not talking. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, bye, Tom. It's been fun. <laughs> Mm-hmm. See a common rider rickshaw. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a classic. Wow, I forgot about that one. <laughs> well, when you're like, he's got to go pick up his wife. I'm like, yeah, all right. He, uh, oh yeah, pick up. You don't. You don't. You don't got a car. I remember that one. All right. Now here's a quick. We're just gonna do a quick fire. Pick the better. Which one? All right. Better theme song. Go. Charger. Dino charge. Dino, Dino charge. charge. Dino charge. Dino charge. Nah. All right. Better in show music. Kill Yeah, yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Daigo or Tyler? Tyler. Tyler. Daigo. Daigo. Oh God. No. Uh, <laughs> Ian or Chase? Chase. 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 Ian. Ian. Okay. No son or Coda. No son. No son. No son. Coda. I love Yoshi, but no son. I, I love no Yoshi to death, but nothing beats the old man jokes from no son. Yeah. Yep. All right. Soji or Riley? Riley. Riley. Soji. 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 Amy or Shelby? Shelby. Shelby. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to... S- I'm going to say Shelby just because I feel like we've gotten more personality out of her than Amy at this point done. It's hard for me to divest what I've seen of the rest you of the show. I still want to see a Power Rangers option. <laughs> no, it's, just, it's really hard for me to like pretend I haven't seen the other 42 episodes of that show right now. So I want to say Amy, but okay, lambast me for it. Go for it. <laughs> Zach, what, I didn't hear what you said. I, I said Shelby because I don't want Chris Hansen showing up at my door. <laughs> Is Tom uh, back? Is Tom back? No, he's not. Oh, okay. uh, I did check. We're going down right. now. Well, we kind of we kind of mentioned this one, but Torin or Keeper? Torin. 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 Keeper. Torin asterisk. <laughs> Torin asterisk. Uh, Chaos or Sledge? Sledge. 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 I don't know why you put this, Chris. Zudenchi or Dino Chargers? Zudenchi. Zudenchi. Yeah. Dino Chargers. Dino Chargers. <laughs> <laughs> I had to oh. throw something in there that was going to be like Bandai Japan versus Bandai America. I had to. Oh. Oh. oh yeah, then, cle- then 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 Zudenchi clearly. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> so we're going off the toys here. Yeah. Oh well, then Zudenchi. Boom. <laughs> it's a clean sweep. <laughs> Show Ruger wins. Do you guys want to go through the first eight episodes of each? or? I don't think we have to. I don't think yeah. we need to, really. No. We've I, think, I think the important thing to talk about regarding the, the right. differences and similarities, so obviously the differences were the fact that Show Ruger, <laughs> you had a Blue Ranger focus, and they somehow switched it to a Green Ranger focus in Dino Charge, you know, and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they they mm-hmm. switched the focuses around a little bit, which is cool. And then the biggest change and the biggest departure is the fact that uh, we had Kyoru Scion up here, uh, yeah, we you have know, no Aqua Ranger up here. We had an extra Ranger, probably the earliest we've ever had in Sentai. Because that was, what, episode six? Yeah. Uh, six when he appears, eight when he finally appears in suit. Yeah, so that's pretty early for an extra Ranger in Sentai or Power Rangers or otherwise. I think that's pretty cool, but I have no idea what they're going to do with Aqua for Dino Charge. So let's let's take this time to make our predictions as far as what we think is going to happen and what they're going to adapt or not adapt. And sorry, AP, I know you haven't seen that far out because there's things like yeah. you know. Obviously, we know they're going to do, or we assume they're going to do a uh, male Violet because we saw a filming photo with a mm-hmm. male suit, which only appeared in Kyoriger for what, like one, two, three episodes total, I think. Two. 
So he throw came, him back later. Yeah, he uh, came, that's why I think he came back at the end. So you get that, and it's like, are we going to get the bronze sashed aqua and graphite when they appear? Or are we going to get the gold sashed? You know. Oh basically. yeah, spirit versus living. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. You know, are oh, they even going to make a reference to that? Are we going to get a male scion or, or aqua or whatever? Are we going to get a female aqua? Personally, I would assume aqua. They made aqua sound really feminine. Maybe just because it's the word aqua. Aqua is feminine? Well, when you're like Power Ranger Aqua versus Power Ranger Scion or Power Ranger Light Blue. I don't know. <laughs> Power Rangers Light Blue. <laughs> Power Rangers Light Blue. <laughs> Everything works to the Megaforce theme. <laughs> yeah, it really does. Power Rangers. Da, da, da. I still have that sound button. I'll give it to you. <laughs> I know you have it. <laughs> Power Rangers. Da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> we called it the very special, or the very special. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, okay. So, yeah. Eric and AP, you haven't seen all of Kyuuji, but you've obviously <clears> seen <throat> Eric. You've caught up enough but, of it that you know yeah. some of the stuff that happens. So, yeah. okay. So, we talked about whether they go with the gold sash or the bronze sash. Silver. Does Keeper become silver, or knowing the footage that we've seen, where there's some silvers kind of on the other team for a little bit, do they use that and he's evil and turns good, like brainwashed? Is he inside Fury? What's going on? Oh, you mean if Tyler's dad is inside Fury instead of the Gold Ranger is inside... What if Fury has multiple, you know, can hold multiple people inside that weird-looking bone chest of his, and we discover Tyler's dad's in there, and he pushes out the guy, the Gold Ranger or whatever, instead of him... Oh, that would be interesting because Fury said that his dad was so easy to defeat. But that would be interesting if they're both stuck in there and then Gold gives Tyler a message and says, hey, your father's still trapped inside Fury. And therefore there's no reason or there's a the a story plot as to why they can't destroy Fury. Uh, right. Wow. That'd be cool. And explain some of the gold versus Fury mm-hmm. footage that we get. Because that was a big thing in, in Kill Ranger was the fact that Fury was basically the armor for the Gold Ranger and he broke free, finally. Mm-hmm. And then Fury was just a shell. AP got kicked, so oh. no. don't expect an answer from her. <laughs> this is a great That's... episode. Yeah. It is. Oh, hey, look, Tom's back. <laughs> I hear a oh, horn. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like walking down the street or something. <laughs> Common Rider Rickshaw. Oh, okay, AP's back, so I don't have to... Pedophile. What? No. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, Rickshaw, you missed your intro. Rickshaw. Common Rider Rickshaw. Oh, oh. we're bringing that trope back again? (laughs) Never left, sir. As soon as someone's like, hey, I don't know if you read the message, but Tom was picking up his rife, I just yelled out Rickshaw. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so Tom, AP, we're talking about Diner Charge. uh, Wait, 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 (laughs) wait. I mean... I left, and then AP left? Hmm. No. <laughs> Suspicious activity, eh? No. <laughs> this ties into the crossover perfectly. <laughs> I'm so confused. It. Hey, AP. Yes? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just going to go down the line, what you want to see in Diner Charge, your predictions, AP, go. Like, Sorry. in general, or yeah, adapted ju- from Kyo Ranger? Both. If Kendall doesn't become the Violet Ranger, I'm going to slap someone. <laughs> <laughs> um, Not me. <laughs> and I also just want to see Kendall kick some ass, you know? That'd be great. That would yeah. be great. Tom slash AP. I'll be okay for more gender bender stuff. You know, like, the Silver Ranger doesn't have to be a dude. That would be nice. Well, wow, you're you're really hoping that they don't use any Sentai footage for the whole Because I, I really enjoy that they're filming their own stuff. I oh, I do that. too, but I mean that's going to have to affect the budget at some point. Money, yeah, that's money, true. money. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Haim Saban's theme song when he wakes up. <laughs> but you know what, Tom? I really like your enthusiasm for original footage. Because this is like after how many years of you know straight copy and paste? This yeah, is really refreshing. It, it really yeah. is. Mm-hmm. We have been really lucky to have so much original footage this season. It's like Hashtag RPM all over again. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag in Judd we trust. <laughs> <laughs> Judd Lynn for president. Kind of like AP. If uh, Kendall does it become the. Uh, purple Ranger or Violet Ranger, whatever they're going to call her, I'm quitting the show and the fandom all, all together. <laughs> if 
Aqua's not a girl, I'll probably quit the fandom for a little bit too. Um, <laughs> I don't think we're going to see the Mighty Morphin Dino Thunder Dino Charge team up. Pretty sure that's mm. not going to happen, which is a huge, huge missed opportunity in my personal opinion. Yeah. Uh, but again, going back to that whole money, money, money thing we talked about, on both sides, one side doesn't want to spend it and one wants more than they probably deserve. So there you go. As far as other things I want to see, I do hope... The one thing I really enjoyed about the Kyoruger was uh, I loved Nosan's story. I loved the fact of his sister and his niece, mm. and she hated the blue Kyoruger because she thought he was just a troublemaker and someone that you know caused a problem and an accident and all that stuff, and then she discovers later on secretly that it's actually her brother, and he freaks out and goes the entire series thinking she doesn't know who he is, which just cracks me up in the finale. But <laughs> Okay, so we have had reference to like Coda had a little brother. Mm. Right. So yeah. I would love to see that. I would love to see, you know, I want to know what's going on with all these stupid things that uh, that Yoshi tweeted out that quickly got deleted, like a picture of his brother on the set with the Death Ruger Zord mm. icon behind them on the screen, and then that picture got removed real quick. Like, I want to see what in the world's up with that. Like, was that someone mm-hmm. just effing with us, or was that... Yoshi like a... is the biggest troll. He is I know. the biggest I troll know. of them all. Right. But what if he's not joking? What if his girlfriend really is female Aqua Ranger? Hmm. That, would be, that would be a double fake out. We will have yeah. to wait and see until the, what, the fourth hiatus? Until 2016 <laughs> in <laughs> The fourth hiatus. <laughs> After Power Morphicon, the next Power Morphicon, we'll have our answer. Oh, that sounds so far away. God, oh, God. it is. It's over a year away. God, oh. it's we not won't that get... far away. It's not that far away. Rico-san already tweeted out. It's not that far away. <laughs> <laughs> what if instead of filming the Dino Charge MMPR whatever team up in New Zealand, what if they filmed it during this year and a half in LA? No, I still don't think it happened to you. I don't see that happening. No. I don't think so. They're like, explosions? You need to file a permit for explosions in L.A. They would mysteriously not be at any of their usual hangouts during the entire episode. Aqua Ranger, we have a drought. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, suddenly they're not the museum anymore. They decide to, well, hey, you know what? There's a part in the show where they go head to New Zealand. Oh, right. No. How ironic would it be New Zealand is Los Angeles? (laughs) (laughs) All the the New Zealanders that watch the show is like, that's not here. (laughs) If that was supposed to be your New Zealand accent, man. (laughs) Seriously. I'm glad you caught that, Jordan. (laughs) Good lord. That was awful. (laughs) You're awful. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It gets worse. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right, Jordan. What's, what's your prediction for Dino Charge? Uh, my prediction, or what I'm hopeful about? Both. Well, it kind of feels like with uh, the lack of introduction of any of the extra Rangers so far, that they're probably going to get a little bit of the shaft this year. I feel I'm looking at that happening. I mean, that's the one thing I'm concerned about most is those characters getting any screen time, any significant amount of screen time to make it worth having had them. But obviously I don't see Keeper being anything other than weird alien dude. He's never going to be a ranger. And it's yeah, it's not going to happen. Sorry, (laughs) E.T. Phone home. But, you know, it looks like they've done a decent job of taking the source footage and adapting what is necessary for original storylines. So... I sort of expect that consistency to continue to play on throughout this. I think it's going to be a pretty good, solid show, especially based on the list of train wrecks for the last half a decade, so it can't be bad. (laughs) Are you guys looking at AP's (laughs) chat room stuff? (laughs) Yeah. Oh, shit, I didn't even see this. (laughs) She just said I'm (laughs) Dakota's great, 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 great grandnephew is a ranger. Everyone's a ranger? <laughs> a yellow Actually, ranger. that wouldn't be terribly far off from what happened in Cure. Mm. That's true. Yeah. That that is, is. That's very close to the thing that actually happens. Kind of. Anyway. Yeah, well, kind of, but that could work, actually. Cure yeah. Gray. Oh, hot damn. Oh. <laughs> well, hot damn! Oh. Look at the dog. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> uh, Zach, what are your predictions? I would like to see... <laughs> Sorry, my brain just went nuts. I don't even... Damn it, AP. <laughs> it's wishful thinking, but I'd like to see the, the extra rangers soon. Granted, I know we're going to get gold after the hiatus, but I'd like to see the rest of them faster. Well, we know we're getting graphite because he has a toy coming out. Okay, that's good. But that's and, it. Yeah. You know, just keep doing what they're doing. It's been successful. They've hit a good groove. I think they just need to not have so long a hiatus. That's the killer. Hey, ratings are going great. Let's pause for six months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Let's not hey, let the you, interest. Do, let's not get the everyone too excited. We gotta make them wait a little bit. Do, do you guys think that the uh, the toys that we saw at Toy Fair is actually gonna be the suit for the second season? Oh, you mean the power up? The I was yeah. actually gonna bring that in my prediction. I really want to see those power ups, a la the like mega. Battleizer. Yeah. Or, or battle. I would love to have yeah, no return to battle. Battleizer mode. Yeah. yeah, those would be really cool, absolutely. <laughs> but, I mean, I think they could just slap the Battleizer name onto the carnival mode. That's God, I, I, I'm curious how they're going to refilm that, because they can't have Tyler dance around, because I, there's just no, right. way to adapt. There's no way to adapt that <laughs> to make sense in my mind. <laughs> well, yeah. they would definitely have to refilm all of that, but I like carnival modes, like how it could use the different arm attachments, and I think that's more in the realm of a Power Rangers Battleizer. Or a right. Kamen Rider final form. Ooh. Final Power form. Rider. <laughs> yeah, the, Pal- 11th, the 11th Ranger is Kamen Rider Gaim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sold. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Considering the last ad- adaptations we've had of Kamen Rider, no, please, no. Just leave Gaim pristine. Don't ruin it. Bring Ferbison. <laughs> Hail Furbus. Furbus. Fur- Furbus is is actually inside Keeper this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, it's like a it's like a suit that he wears. There's a little remote like a control scheme in there, like levers that he's pulling to make Keeper. <laughs> that's why the eyes doesn't blink. It's been broken for eons. <laughs> oh, Furbus. All right. Oh, oh. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Anything else you guys want to add about Dino Charge? After the hiatus. You guys will be on, like, episode 79. <laughs> yeah. We'll be on episode, like, 29, so... <laughs> like, one from where we're at right now. <laughs> you guys will get there. <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're just going to start calling every episode we do the end of Talking Toku. <laughs> <laughs> that way we don't have to do another episode if we don't want to, but if we do, then we're just... The end of Talking Toku, part 10. <laughs> so, Ranger Nation, <laughs> if anyone's ever listening again, <laughs> let us know what you think. <laughs> have questions, email us at rangercommandpowerhour at gmail.com or check us out at rangercommand.com. And this has been another great uh, <laughs> crossover <laughs> Uh, so we'll see you guys next time bye bye Bye. Bye. free power ranger toys (laughs) watch out for Tom's van oh sure they turn evil and come from the future and now they're tough fighters ow son of a I just stubbed my toe on this stupid rock. Ow! I think I know a way to stop evil Zack. Eric, do you have a green candle? You seriously think I just keep random colored candles on me at all times? Don't you? Yeah, I do, actually. Here you go. The candle is lit. In a few moments, he should lose his powers. Ah! I'll just destroy you before I lose my powers. No way. I think you just gave me a nosebleed. It worked. His powers are gone. You just... Eric, you just killed me. Future evil you, not you. But still me. So, don't turn evil. But, I mean, you're a murderer now. Welcome to my nightmare. Huh? What?
Why am I in this? Oh God, I'm I'm sorry. I meant to say nightmare, not nightmare. Sorry, sorry. You guys are weird. Nightmare ten of the Power Scoop blog, ladies and gentlemen. Sandar Thunder. It'll take more than that to stop me. I have an idea. Jordan, show him some of your Tamashi Web exclusives. You're a cruel human being. You know what's sad? It doesn't stop. The next three years are full of nothing but horrible QC on all the figures you get. Are you fucking serious? Damn it! Now, Chris, while he's soaking up on his crappy quality toys. Kia! Kia! Just killed another person! He's evil? Still doesn't count. Yes, it does! Eric! My god, man! We did it! We saved the future! And we stopped two horrible, terrible people from doing horrible, terrible things. The world is a better place. The world will never have to deal with their despicable presence. Guys, we're heroes! Hey, douchebags, we're standing right here. Yeah, it may have been our future evil selves, but it's still us. They might make statues of us. It feels great to rid the world of such disgusting people. So, hey, I wonder if the future changed. We seem to be pretty good friends in the future. Hopefully not everything changes. Don't touch me. But you were inside of me! Ugh. The important thing to remember here is that Tom kissed Jordan. <laughs> Ooh la la. Technically, it was AP who kissed me. Looked like Tom to me. Totally Tom. I snuck a pick on my cell phone. Damn it! Chris, we make better friends than enemies. And real friendship can overcome any differences that might be thrown at it. So hey, here's your Gold Ranger key. You know what? You keep it. I have 18 more from Toys R Us that I bought while I was hoping that they'd restock those new Ranger keys. Uh. <laughs> You mean this whole thing was over something that you have 18 more of? I don't want to open them. <sighs> Meanwhile, in the future... I'm back. I'm back in the future and... Yes, back in my own body. I need a shower so bad right now. Nothing looks changed. Even the wall is still broken when Zack broke in. But hey, where's Tom? What? He's hooked up to another machine? Wait. Does that mean he's in the past? But if he's in the past, then... Oh no, if I was in his body, then he must be... No! Crap! How far back did he go? Today on the Power Hour, Episode 1, Ranger Roll Call. Recorded January 15th, 2014. Welcome to the first episode of the Ranger Command Power Hour on the Four-Eyed Radio Network. It's time to ranger up with your hosts. I'm Eric, also known as Trekkie B47. I'm AP, also known as Secret Ranger Fan. Giggity. And I'm Zach, also known as the Cinema Slob. This episode is brought to you by America Joy Print Shop. I really don't like Ramirez. <laughs> I don't. Oh, Spirit kind of... Hammer! <laughs> really creeps me out. <laughs> <laughs> wow, got, like, strong lady. <laughs> got, like, there's, I'm like, oh gosh, I don't even want to say this, but it's literally the best way to explain it. Pedophile eyes. <laughs> and on that note, hi Tom. Yeah, as soon as that word pops up, I show up, and I'm like, oh, god. AP was planned this. AP <laughs> basically said that Ramirez had pedophile eyes. <laughs> They're like, hello, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the intro. <laughs> <laughs> Pedophile eyes. Hi, Tom. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Someone say my name. <laughs> it's like it's like Beetlejuice. He said it three times. Hello. <laughs> Soling two, soling two, soling two. <laughs> Hello, boys. <laughs> Hello, boys. <laughs> Blink. <laughs> and then our listener surveys go downhill so fast. <laughs> Chris says he's on his tablet. Is he here? I'm, I'm on my phone. Oh, God, the video. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Why are you on your tablet? Because he's showing us all the merchandise he has. Oh. Don't be a <laughs> dick. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, look at all my cool nerd shit. <laughs> Don't be a pedophile, Chris. <laughs> yeah, you missed the best intro, Chris. Can Chris, is like, Chris is like, I'm showing you all my stuff. I don't care. Yeah, melon energy, whoopty yeah. shit. Ooh, lights oh, lights up. Melon energy. God, there's such a delay on that, Chris. <laughs> That's a idea. Get back to your, get back to the computer. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> there, there's the pedophile eyes. <laughs> hey. eyes. They're watching you. I'm like, about it. Well, the the thing, AP, is that... Tom. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, the <laughs> thing is, AP... <laughs> Silence. Oh, God, he doesn't know? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Tom. Tom. Don't I'm be off a troll. Move on. Don't be a troll. <laughs> Jordan. Right. Jordan. Yeah. Jordan. What, yeah. Was so Im- what was so important that you were going to miss the show for? A baby. Uh, I was, yes, my child. What, what were you going to get? What were you going to buy? Uh, actually, we were going to get groceries at the grocery store. You don't have to eat. That, that sounds like a dull <laughs> shit. <laughs> it is. It is. We're, uh, we're trying to cut out processed foods from our diet currently. So. Uh, good luck with uh, that. <laughs> you live uh, in America. Like, like more <laughs> fresh vegetables and stuff. Yeah, we're trying to go as good as possible. So. Hello! <laughs> Hello, Keeper. Hello, eh. Keeper. When will you start blinking? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Only in the special edition. <laughs> oh, no, 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 stop watching blinking. You. Stop blinking. It's creepy. Wait, Keeper, another one with pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> There's a theme tonight. There's a theme. Oh. I don't this, want this to be the theme. Yeah. There's clearly a theme tonight. The theme oh. is, hi, I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. What is <laughs> that ties into what we're talking about? It does talk into what we were talking about the other day. That's really great. <laughs> Holy shit. It's like it comes most... full circle. Well, here's the thing. Um, I was asking AP about uh, Kiruger, and she said that you said you didn't like Ramirez, right? A yeah, yeah. And then, and then she said, it, just as Tom popped into the chat room, that, that Ramirez had pedophile eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and Tom's like, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, like, and on that note, hi, Tom. <laughs> as if on cue. As if on cue, like, that's Tom right. Shines the pedophile eyes signal in the sky. And Tom's running. <laughs> Hey, Tom, so when you recorded all your lines, was it like 1 o'clock in the morning and you're not trying to make anybody laugh? Because no, I, have to ap- I have to amplify like every line a bunch, and even like your screen, you're all, ah! <laughs> like, I'm like, it's less than a second. And your you're hissing noise, like that's like slowed down. To try to get some <laughs> life out of it. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, for for that for that noise, you're gonna have to send Jordan here for some actual one on one. Wait for a small for a small price, I could be made readily available. Wait, That's right. Cr- wait, Chris, that kissing noise wasn't a sound effect. That was from Tom's file. That's, that's Tom's yeah. Actually kissing noise. Holy crap! That sounded like such a processed generic sound effect. <laughs> I am a robot. <laughs> I, I just loved all the fluctuations you had on your voice. 
like when you're like, so what exactly are you doing? Like you're all, so what exactly are you doing? <laughs> I'm from Ireland. <laughs> I'm Scottish. Like AP, AP's playing the scene perfectly. Like, oh my God, the world's ending. I don't know what to do. And Tom's all, hey, how's it going? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Tom never loses that positive outlook. <laughs> That's right. I've still got to put my Ninja Mega Falcon Zord box. Ninja Mega Falcon Zord, go! Yeah, i got to put that up. It's got so many signatures, it's got to sell for something. <laughs> White Ranger Tiger Power, but it's a falcon now. <laughs> okay... Oh. That was like half my Saturday afternoon. <laughs> oh, what else did you have to do? Uh, His girlfriend was a point. Smooth. <laughs> brown chicken, brown cow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> everyone got their show notes going. <laughs> All right, so everyone know what pretty much what we're talking about, about Dino Charge versus Curator? Yep. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. Is is that what's going on? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what exactly are we doing? <laughs> what's a podcast? Podcast? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> For some reason, Chris's impression of Tom makes him sound Hawaiian. <laughs> 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 Mahalo, bitches. <laughs> Wait, so what exactly are we doing on the big island? <laughs> Wait, do, do you guys know that apparently this new movie, Aloha, they made oh, uh, yeah. what's her face? Like, she's supposed to be Asian American. <laughs> yeah, Emma Stone. Stone. She's supposed to yeah. Be Wow. Like there's what? just like a whole bunch of white people in that movie. Oh, <laughs> it takes place in Hawaii, which is 60% Asian. Yeah, it's her- supposed to be like a uh, quarter Chinese, quarter Hawaiian, and then like half Swedish or something, which it's yeah. <laughs> like the Swedish <laughs> took hold. Yeah, her last name is like Ning. It's it's completely mm. yeah. yeah. It's all right. They just need some tape on her eyes. Wow. <laughs> Tom's Asian, he can say that. I, 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 Does that mean I can make white privilege jokes? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure soon Google Hangout will revoke all our licenses. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say Son Goku. I was like, <laughs> Son Goku? <laughs> They'll go Son Goku on our asses? <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> Yo, Ben, just saying. Oh, God. Who <laughs> <laughs> earns? Today on the Power Hour, episode 42, Talking Ranger Toku Command, Days of Future Podcast, recorded on June 1st, 2015. Welcome to the Ranger Command Power Hour on the Four Eyed Radio Network. So I'm a ranger up with your hosts. I'm Eric, also known as Trekkie B47. <laughs> 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 so you're like, no, you were just you're like, welcome to the Ranger Command Power Hour on the Four Eyed Radio Network. It's time to ranger up with your hosts. I'm Eric, also known as Trekkie. I was just uh, you're usually more <laughs> boisterous than that. <laughs> I'm Eric, also known as Trekkie B47. <laughs> I'm Scottish. <laughs> I'm Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? See, Chris, you totally ruined it because <laughs> when uh, when when Eric is gonna read the ad, he is like, for simple for inquiry, please re- please visit. I'm gonna be like the revenge lover. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna jump in with that. Ah, you ruined it. All right, start off. <laughs> <laughs> you should have said nothing. <laughs> I was going to say, you should have done it still. Uh, uh, now Eric's guarded. Way to go. Yes. <laughs> no. I'm always guarded when I record with you guys. <laughs> As you should be. <laughs> History's taught us anything. <laughs> All right. Was it like, <laughs> was that like your, your uh, movie, Mark? Like cut. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 
God. All right. Uh, I'll try to sound more boisterous, Chris. <laughs> Thank you. What's, well, find, find out your motivation. <laughs> <laughs> my, my motivation is to get through tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Godspeed. All right. I'm Chris, also known as Kick. I'm Jordan, also known what? as Dino. <laughs> what? what just happened? I only heard Chris say, I'm Chris, also known as Kick. <laughs> All right, All one right. more time, Chris. Chris. Uh, sorry, you're you I had to mute myself because you were like, "Welcome to the Rangers." <laughs> okay. God um, damn it! I can't win. It was really weird. <laughs> Although not for his pedophilia, which that's more or less what that is. We can't. And I come that. back to that again. <laughs> 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 really? Wow, Tom. God Jesus. damn it. <laughs> I wow. just realized, too, because you yes. did leave because I watched your thing disappear. So, yes, you really did just come back and walk oh, into another God. bit of the conversation. History repeats itself. <laughs> you are welcome. Oh, what is God. going on here? I walk in and that's the first one I hear. Only on the Ranger Command Power Hour. <laughs> I'm talking to <Doku. laughs> Oh my God! Oh, so Tom, we got, you said you said well the thing is AP and then you disappeared. <laughs> well, like, the, literally the problem, as if on cue. The problem with being on your on your phone in Hangout is that when a phone call comes in, they kick you out of Hangout. <laughs> so You're on your gonna, phone? <laughs> yes, I am. Wow, so, that's pretty did impressive. You, did you record your lines on your phone too? No. <laughs> is that a yes? No. Oh god, Tom left again. No. <laughs> Phone calls are serious business. <laughs> oh, back. there he is. Pedophiles. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> god. That's like when you're like, you're like, AP, give me a mustache. I was like, to match your pedophile eyes. <laughs> <laughs> No, that that will be a uh, Ramirez beard. Yeah. <laughs> so the image banner for this has to be Tom in a in a windowless van. <laughs> candy? Anyone want candy? A van from the future. Um, <laughs> please give him a mustache in that picture. Though. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Um, Did you just like Glord? Lord. Glord. Glord sounds way better. Lord. I prefer Glord over Lord. <laughs> with a whole bunch of people we didn't know with the main <laughs> cast. Oh, you God. got mute or something? No, I, I saw somebody, Jordan put up a picture. I need to see this picture. Wait, yeah, I, I oh, just dear. downloaded it. Because image check doesn't really work for me. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, hang on. I gotta download it. Oh, my God. <laughs> God really yes. Do, do it, AP. <laughs> I am. I am. Hold on. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Oh. Oh. They even got the pedophile eyes on Tom. Mm. <laughs> 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 what is what is the pedophile eyes pre tell? <laughs> when you when you get back to your computer, you'll know. <laughs> oh, God, that man. picture is perfect. <laughs> the best thing ever. God. <laughs> All right. So, so anything else so we can end this crossover? Where did you find the van? You like just, just go to Google? Just go to Google. It's like a rape van. That's what I. Said. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so the only thing that could have made that better is if Ramirez's face was on the other side. <laughs> oh God. Oh, Tommy, he's he's tweeting. He's like, I don't see any of this sad face. You'll see it later, princess. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> right click save. <laughs> You've been listening to the Ranger Command Power Hour, only on the Four Eyed Radio Network. You can catch a new episode every other Saturday. Find us on the Morphing Grid at www.rangercommand.com. Follow us on Twitter at rangercommandph and like us on facebook.com slash rangercommandpowerhour. This has been another proud production of the Four-Eyed Radio Network. You want to see more shows? Go check out www.fouridradio.com, you winkers.